a lot of you might know me as Sil Studios, and I wouldn't blame you. That is my YouTube name, after all. If you haven't realized over the past few months, years, at this point, I'm not even sure, I've slowly and slowly became a brony, if you haven't already realized that by now. It, it's not really a hidden thing anymore, it used to be, but honestly, it, it's really hard for me to make a video like this. I originally recorded a video talking about my experience with the fandom and how I joined it and everything in between, and while I am going to explain that, I'm going to bring up some topics that have happened in the past few weeks of September 2024 and October 2024 that I feel like should be brought up and should be said because I am just, I wouldn't say disgusted, but I would say upset with certain parts of this fandom. Let me take you all back though. I'll do a quick synopsis of how I joined this fandom. If you don't know, I didn't like the Brony fandom growing up. I found out about its existence circa 2014-2015 uh, during its golden years. And I never really liked it. I, I always hated it. It wasn't really I had a reason. It was like, oh my gosh, I'm a guy. Why would I like this? But the thing was, there was so much that I didn't see with this fandom. Because you know how the internet is. They only show you the bad of everything. They never show you the good. And I never got to see the good of the Bernie fandom. I always saw the cringe and the disgusting parts of the fandom. And it always, it, that blurred my vision for the Bernie fandom for a long time. Until 2021, where the G5 movie was released onto Netflix. I ended up watching it after convincing myself. And I loved it. Since I've been a Bernie. I have no regrets in that. G5 changed my life, and while this video was going to be about G5 and its effects on my life, I feel like there should be more I should talk about here, because recent events have really picked it up. But the original idea for this video was me to talk about G5 and how it changed my life. It, it changed my life by giving me a new perspective. That's how it did it. But Macaroni, a f pretty popular animation streamer, animation streamer, animation YouTuber on um, YouTube made a video prior about this respect that was happening in the fandom because of this new generation. And it encouraged me to make my own video. And that's why I'm here now talking unscripted. I sound serious because I'm talking about pastel horses, but... Trust me, it's important to talk about things like that. There was a lot of hate going on for the people. Not the show, but the people. Maka, who made the video, had one of his friends... Well, he was given a death threat, essentially, on Twitter. It inspired him to make that video because it was ridiculous. A death threat over a show for... And it, it hurt. It hurt to see that. Especially considering this was the reason I'm in this fandom. G5 made me a different person. I went to the conventions and I changed. I, my life became so much better. I cannot describe how much better my life became because of that. And I don't care if the show is bad. I don't care. Because it will always be up there as one of my favorites because of what it did for me. The fandom has changed my life. G5 has changed my life. But when you get inside a fandom, you can always, always see what others are looking at from the outside. Like I was a long time ago when I was a, I wouldn't say anti-brony, but more like anti-pony. And I was on the outside. I saw the cringe. I saw the 
the weird things that people did and it, w it was and then i get inside the fandom and i just see the nicest people i've ever met i've met so many people that have changed my life and they are now a part of my family i met my girlfriend this way i met some amazing artists and musicians and the best people i possibly could talk with and sit with and i can walk up to anyone at a con and talk to them about a show that we all love and enjoy and even years after the show's ending it's it's beautiful to see that this fandom can come together and make something amazing but like with most fandoms in the world there's always that one part that leaves a stain no fandom is exempt from this either the weebs are have stains on them the furries bronies too everyone has a stain on their fandom somewhere. Whether that be a very terrible person or a very terrible event, there's always something that makes people deter from the fandom. And it's the reason I never really joined the Brony fandom until I did. I was scared. What would people think of me? What would people say? Partially due to the fact that I was in the furry fandom not long before... I believe around circa 2018, and I was very public with it in middle school, but eventually I heard snickering behind my back, and I just, I left. I never even gave the fandom a chance, all because people talked behind my back, and that, that's not something I want. Not for me, or not for anything. I know I'm jumping all over the place, I need to find a topic here, but that's why I love this fandom, because it actually found me a place in this world. And to all my friends that I've met throughout this journey in the Brony fandom and everyone else in between, thank you. But now that I'm done with my sappy nonsense, I want to talk about the recent events that have been happening in the Brony fandom. Specifically... Well, let, let me start with um, the G5 incidents first. Approximately a few weeks ago, I've been told on Twitter by people that are also in the G5 area of the fandom that, they, that one of the voice actresses for Misty, I forgot her name, I'll put it up on screen now, um, she went to Chezquestria, Chequestria. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And when she got up on stage, she was booed. And the only reason why was because she was a G5 actress. And that, hearing that pissed me off to, like, no end. Why would we do this? Why? There's so many times in this fandom I ask why people would treat the special guests like this. Because they are the one thing in this fandom that we can't get back. These people worked so hard. And they are the voices of the characters we love. But they're also people. And if we deter them from the, fan from the cons, they're never coming back. And they'll resent us. They might even resent themselves for voicing these characters that we love. And that's not something I want to see. Because I have met some bubbly, wonderful voice actors and voice actresses at these cons. Uh, Kelly Sheridan, for example, the voice actress of Twilight. <laughs> Twilight, I meant Starlight. Starlight. She was almost Twilight's VA, just a little uh, uh, fact there. And I've also met um, Ellie Ray who is a bundle of joy. You've got to meet her if you ever go to a con. It would sadden me so much that if someone hurt them at a con that they never come back because they are the example of what this fandom should be. Especially Ellie Ray. Like, seriously. That woman is amazing and I love her so much. <laughs> but every one of these voice actors and voice actresses that come out to see us they're doing it because they want to and it hurts to see that the newer voice actors for g5 are just being treated with disrespect they don't deserve that and frankly it 
pisses me off that no one stood up and yelled at anyone booing. No one deserves that. Not unless they're actually a bad person, but she wasn't a bad person, so what the fuck, guys? But, regardless. And then, later on, about a few days after the event occurred, Andy Price started getting harassment online, being called a racist and such, for not drawing Misty's character right. I find it ironic that both of these incidents involved Misty, but... You know, what can you do, right? I mean, seriously. It, the whole issue was that Misty had a certain design to her mane that was, uh, what's the term? Black-coated, I think? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not really, I don't really pay attention to the terminology, so uh, forgive me if I say something wrong here, but, and people got offended. People started harassing him, and it got to the point where he wanted to quit, and Andy has been around since the beginning of the comics and he has been drawing forever and again i never understood why people would go and witch hunt someone for that he was given a concept a, a, like art that he was specifically told to use the t tyt designs not the mym designs and people got mad at him for that despite what he was told and you know what when it comes to a job you have to do what you're told and that's just that so it hurts to see that it hurts to see that he's getting witch hunted for that especially since he's one of the greatest comic illustrators slash writers i'm not sure if he writes but you know you, you know what i mean and then the incident that came after was recent I actually three days ago, I believe, when I'm recording this on October second, was the mayor fair incident. I don't want to elaborate on what exactly happened. If you know, you know, and I will try to describe it in the best way I possibly can so YouTube doesn't get on my ass about it. But let's just say a group of nine people decided to make a offensive symbol next to a pool deck uh near the con tagged the con on 4chan and never and the con never responded they never took action this happened two years in a row and if you're wondering what the symbol was because i more than likely censored the image it was a it's a symbol from world war ii let's just say that and so many people were upset with this and i myself was upset it's disgusting to see something like that especially in a fandom that pr promotes love and tolerance and it's it's so disgusting downright abhorrent is that even a word i can use abhorrent uh but yeah it's 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 terrible and the fact that mayor fair did not respond and to this day has not responded to something like this goes to show that they don't care it, it got to a point where some of my friends were even getting upset and i had to Make sure that they were okay. And tell them how much they're appreciated and loved in this fandom. And it, it, it confuses me. I joined this fandom because everyone was caring and loving. And y'all tell me there's people like that in our fandom? A fandom that promotes love and tolerance where our main catchphrase is friendship is magic? That I don't find anywhere near levels of acceptable. It's not acceptable. And if you're a part of any of these groups that hate, you have no place in this fandom. And I suggest you leave. Because if there's one thing this fandom is not going to tolerate, it's you. We have love and tolerance to a point. If you're hateful, if you're a bigot, if you're a racist, a sexist, etc., etc., you don't have a spot in this fandom. And you never will. You can stay at your con down in florida all you want you can make symbols all you want but just so you know the rest of us normal bronies who actually care about love and tolerance will be going to normal cons with normal people who don't think the way you think your radical ideologies have no place in this fandom and i'm sorry if you're like oh my gosh it's just a joke it's just no it's not you're not joking we know you're not joking either one time, maybe it's a dark humor joke, fine, whatever, it's still disgusting as hell. But two times in a row, you're doing it because you, you like that ideology. 
And just so you know, you like that ideology. I don't like you. It's it's plain as that, really. And you you I don't need to say the ideology. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And I will not elaborate because YouTube will get on my ass. But I'm not going to sit here and just let this stain on this fandom sit here. I am against any and all forms of hate that are that discriminate against another or that it doesn't matter if it's for religious reasons it doesn't even matter if it's for show if you hate a generation fine but you are not to harass someone you are not to witch hunt them and if you are into any of those ideologies you you just need to leave this fandom there's no saving you i'm sorry you're just gone i mean seriously those nine guys that were in that picture by the way yeah they didn't even cover their faces so i'm like well digital footprint will take care of them but even so it comes down to a point where it's this is our fandom and if i'm gonna make any form of mark on here if i'm gonna have a message to give to this fandom before i leave this planet it's gonna be this and i i want this to be noted there is no place for hate in this fandom the brony fandom has never been a place for hate sure we have moments but this is not a place for hate if you can't follow friendship is magic you can't follow this fandom because you don't understand it and it's that simple if you got a problem with that the door is always right there. I've been going off for near 20 minutes now. It's it's a lot to think about. Am I going to leave this fandom? Hell no. I'm not going to let some dumbasses in Florida or some haters ruin what I've made here. Because this fandom has changed my life. There are so many people. And you know who you are if you're watching this. You've changed my life. And I'll forever be grateful for that. I love you all. Because you... You gave me something that I've been searching for for so long. And that's a place. Never forget that. Don't let these morons get you down because... They don't care for you, but I do. I care for you. And if that's sappy or not manly enough for you, I don't care. I don't. Because I love this place. And as a certain prince once said, I'll die with the herd. But for now, while I still have a chance to live my life. I'll stay in this fandom for as long as it takes. For as long as it takes for everyone in this fandom to understand love and tolerance, I'll stay here. Because I know a good 80%, maybe 90, hell, I'd even say 95, understand that premise. I'm going to end this video off by saying something. In this fandom, in any fandom really, there will always be a stain. But you don't let that stain get to you. No matter what people on the outside say. You keep marching. The stain will disappear eventually. It's only a matter of time. Time heals all. And that includes stains. That's all I had to say, really. I <laughs> just dumped a whole bunch of feelings on you guys. Um, but, uh. Yeah. Tune in for more later. Bye.